are four weeks out. So it was just not the greatest day. I'm so annoying. It's like <laughs> super annoying. I got my cycle. I'm not gonna lie while driving literally most of my meals are consumed while driving I am driving home and y'all know you only have about a 30 to 45 minute window for your body to absorb most of its nutrition post-workout so I never honestly truly make it home to sit down and have a meal because I still got to look for parking and I could take another 20 minutes or so so by the time i get home my meal is done and then i go home then i you know i shower get ready for the next day and about so it's about maybe an hour and a half later and then i'll have like meal number five sometimes i really i would really try to wait the two hours because i don't go to bed my bedtime is at 10 so I typically won't, um, I'll, I, I usually wait like the two hours. Right now it's 8.25. I'm actually almost finished this. So by like 9.50, I'll drink my shake and then go to bed. Good morning. It's a new day. It's like 6.30 in the morning. It's so dark outside. I'm headed to do my faster cardio because usually as time gets closer, 
I only really use the stairs. It's so dark. Usually as I get closer to the stage, I only use a Stairmaster. So, I try to get up a little early to go use the stairs. time to do 45 minutes and I squeezed in like five minutes of posing and I'm about to get ready for work. I am trying to just Stress just doesn't so bad. I can't afford to stress, so. Ready for work? Kicks up the day. All right. So we are having meal one. some coffee and a mix of protein shake and my coffee look at my cute mug it says hot stuff mmm Chicken breast. So I just woke up. Close fell. Slut. So I'm getting ready to go to the gym. Um my stomach still feels a little weird, but I still gotta get so I got a new waist trainer. This is an eight inch compared to the full out 
think this is like 12 inches i don't know but this is like the standard full-size waist trainer that covers from like under your breast down here um so yeah pretty much you know so it covers the whole thing but i got tired of these waist trainers because i legit just want right here and my waist to stay intact and not blow out i don't need my waist trainer to go all the way up here so i got one of these smaller ones and i didn't realize how small it was and i was just like oh my gosh this is not gonna do what i needed to do however i did put it on last night and it literally sits exactly where i needed to sit so i'm gonna use the first hook and voila so it only covers here everything else is out i can function properly i like this waist trainer <laughs> My mood is like, eh. next minute it's like, hmm. Now it's like, hmm. I just went to Rite Aid and I bought some Premier Proteins. I like these little milky drinks in the box. I mean, they're not the greatest because they're made with milk, dairy. I wish they made some with almond milk, but they don't. And these taste really good and they're quick and easy for me because sometimes I don't always have a shaker cup near me to shake protein and water and stuff. So, good morning. Today is Thursday, November 4th. Um, it took me a little bit longer to get out the house. It took me a little bit longer to get out of bed. I just feel very overwhelmed this morning I can't really explain it I just honestly just wanted to stay in bed but I have cardio to go do and this is truly the sucky part about prep because no matter what you're going through no matter how you're feeling, life is gonna hit you and you can't stop life.
30 minutes of cardio for him to not get to do that. I'm kind of stressed though. So I'm gonna do an hour so I in the morning. So tomorrow is Friday, which means I check in with my coach. I check on my coach every Friday. I usually get up at like 5.30, take the picture, send them. I'm excited because I'm really would like to see, you know, the weekly difference. You know, these weeks do add up and each week I see something better and better. So I am excited. I am really fiending for some sushi like i haven't had a cheat meal enough i don't even know how long i think my birthday which was october 10th um i'm gonna drop the check-ins well of course when i make the video for tomorrow i'm gonna drop the check-ins in there so you guys can see but i am excited because hopefully we do pick what show i do tomorrow So it's weird because I feel like I look so much better. I just looked at my video. Um, typically when I do check-ins, I make a video and then I'll just screenshot off of the video. <sighs> Bruh, it's been a tough two weeks especially with stress especially me just not i feel like if i wasn't stressed this week i would look even better but it's okay because next week is going to be better um i'm going to take one more video i usually do like two or three oh, i'm so exhausted y'all so exhausted but i'm trying to be consistent as possible to document this journey but as you can see everything is very repetitive my days don't really change my training stay the same my meals stay the same um i notice a lot of people switch up their meals all the time and it's like how like how do you know what works you know for you so i'm about to get on a bike because it's too late to go to the gym at this point so i'm gonna get on a bike do my cardio and then get ready for work so i did my check-in to my coach we're looking good. Um, excuse me. We're looking. I feel like we're in the spot where we need to be. Only issue right now is just my weight. Um, I'm 165 right now. He wants me in the 150s, which isn't an issue. But I have been putting on muscle at the same time. So it's a little bit hard. Because each week, you see my body getting tighter and more defined and tighter and more defined. But the weight is like... 165, 168, 164, 169, 168, 165. So, we also just locked in for my show. So, we're going to Texas. I'm gonna book my flight and everything today. And yeah, this is exciting. It's like things are actually getting real. Friday night got my meal number five Friday night is always like this always it does not change and I 
always forget where I park my car. It never fails. That is how the cookie crumbles. Um, <clears throat> that's like a day in the life for me every single day. I even tried to record while I was sick. I definitely got sick one of those days and I couldn't even continue recording because I just was not feeling well. It was a struggle just to even drive home. Um, but as you can see, my days are very repetitive. It's practically still the same. It's just every day is some type of different little struggle that I go through. Um, and that's not even half of the stuff. I am going to try my best to still record for the following week. Because, you know, the first time I tried to do this, it didn't go so well um, with the recording. So, I feel like I'm doing a good job so far. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next video. Ciao.